Welcome to the next section. Shall we continue? All right, so let's get rid of all of this and let's uh, take a look. We still have a few things that we need to look at over in our right side pane. So let's look at our control components. These are all used to control the way the components work and the way you interact with them. Some of them are really simple, like the blinking LED you can set up as a warning light so that your end user can be notified based on a trigger, maybe if your core goes offline. Now some of these you're going to need some programming knowledge for. A control script, for example, allows you to write your own Lua-based scripting into the software. So if you're familiar with Lua, you can use that. If you're a little rusty like I am, then you can access the help file and we have a complete Lua encyclopedia for you to look at there. And then finally you have the layout branch, which gives you some ways you can group and connect components together. The, the signal snake input and output you're probably familiar with already. And the channel group and the container you can use to group components together in different ways. Alright, so let's close these out and let's go and take a look at a few of the other blocks. Let's look at the graphic tools. Let me collapse my schematic library and we'll look at the graphic tools. You got four options here. First one is the text block. Add text blocks to your design. So what you do is you click on that and then you can drag a block and then you can type in your text. Now, you've got text in your schematic. Voila, let's zoom in a little bit here. So, you can adjust a lot of things here. Uh, for instance, you can adjust the fill color. And you'll notice by default it's transparent, but you can fade this all the way up so you can see that back fill color. But we'll pick a light blue for that. <laughs> and then you can adjust, uh, let's give this the width a little bit of width. Now we see a border. You can change the color of that border or stroke. You can change the curviness by changing the corner radius field so that the edges are a little curved. And of course you can always adjust uh, also the color of your text as well as the size of it and the weight of it will be the difference between bold and normal and then the alignment you can align it to the left you can align it to the right you can align it to the top or the bottom whatever you'd like that is the text block field all right your second graphic tool is the header tool and what you want to do is click on that and you'll drag a box similar to your text block and this is very similar you can type in something that you want and it will create these lines on either side of it, which will basically allow you to use this as a border or, you know, a header. And you have the same options of adjusting the, the font however you'd like so that it's uh, the way you want it to look. All right, the next graphic tool you have is the group box. You can click on this and then drag a box in your schematic to create this large selection. And once again, it has text, so you can type in group box and then you will have a little handy tab that will let you tell you uh, what that is. And you can move that tab if you want to the right or to the center and of course uh, you can make it nice and big so you can see it. And the, let's see, the final graphic tool you have is the Polygon tool. Polygon tool is going to let you add a shape of your design to your schematic. Simply click on the Polygon tool and then start clicking around and you can make any shape that you want. Voila. Once you're done, if you want to adjust it, you can always grab a, a vertex and move it around. But what's really cool is if you go and check out our control styles tutorial, then you can find a way that you will be able to turn this polygon into a button that lets you control something inside your schematic. That is pretty nifty. All right, let's break real quick right here and come back for the next part.